So my five good tested 201A tubes have arrived in the mail today. So my next step is to put these tubes in the radio and hook up the power supply and antenna and just see what we can tune. Now before I put these tubes in, I would like to point something out. I can get enough light on the subject. The owner pre previous to my owning this radio must have attempted to have powered this radio up because that person also cleaned these uh, four connections in each socket off a little bit. Not real well. I'm going to do a better job of cleaning them. But um, I don't know if uh, he was aware that the uh, two uh, audio transformers were chewed up by mice or not. Uh, I would assume that that person would have at least put an ohmmeter on the transformers to find out if they were open. I already knew they were open before I even bought the radio. But uh, I could tell just by looking at these, these have been gone over. So an attempt was made to power this radio, and I'm sure that it was a failed attempt because of the open transformers. Let's see what I get when I power it up, if I can get this thing to work at all. Okay, my initial test was a failure, nothing. I know the reason why. Notice this solder connection right here. See how that's separated? Same thing here. That's, these are the filaments, by the way, of these tubes. No connection there as well, nothing. This is a lesson. When you're restoring something as old as this radio, clean all the connections you can and solder anything that looks like it's got a weak solder connection. Test all the solder connections and make sure that they're solid. I'm going to solder these up and give it another test. Okay, we have more connection problems. The tickler coil. It has some bad connection problems I'm going to clean up. Okay, I'm not sure how good this is going to show up through my magnifying glass, but I want to point out that the connections to the tickler are through this coiled up braided wire, and the other side of the coil is the shaft, and that connection depends on this clamping onto the shaft slightly. It's a, it's a brush type arrangement. And this connection right here on this end. It's sort of intermittent. As I've been working it, it's getting a bit better. I don't want to have to take it apart. But I'm going to try to clean it up and see how I can get it working without having to take it apart. Because in an old radio like this, if I could avoid that, that would be best. Okay, just to show you the problem, I'm connected directly to the shaft to where the connection is going to go, and I'm just going to slightly rotate it. See what's happening? Okay, it should, there, we're up. See how high it jumps? It's not a good solid connection when I rotate this all the way around. Look at that. It should be pretty much almost zero ohms all the way around but that uh, connection is not that good so I'm going to have to figure out a way to clean that up somehow um, I'm going to try tuner cleaner just a little bit and see if that helps okay I'm going to tune around I haven't really cleaned up the tickler coil on it yet but just to show how this thing tunes up Thank you. 
That's a very distant station, apparently. how AM radio up here in Wisconsin is all talk, talk, talk. It's hard to find any music on AM. seem to be much that end of the band. Okay, so the next video, the part three, I'll have it in the case and I'll be tuning in my own home radio station. So this is as far as I've got.